Hi, my name is Joe Yarshin, and thank you for tuning in to Kick in the Rear podcast. Uh, the Real Estate Investment Review, the goal of this podcast is to review books uh, related to real estate, business, and entrepreneurship to help you with your real estate journey. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Welcome back to Kick in the Rear podcast, episode 33. My name is Joe Yarshin, and after a long hiatus, we are back on the podcast. I had a long summer uh, busy uh, with a lot of activities, and you know, certainly, I miss doing these podcasts. But uh, I had a lot of actionable things I had to take care of. One of them being a marathon. I ran a marathon over the uh, early part of April or tail end of April, actually. And uh, I did a coaching course over the summer for a short term rental uh, program, and uh, we just went live with our first Airbnb in Nashville in downtown Nashville. So very fired up like to talk about a little bit uh, about it and share with you some of the takeaways I had from the experience. So essentially over the summer, I uh, and it's still early part of the summer, I did this coaching course, uh, Michael Alafonte's program, uh, BNB Investor Academy. Uh, there's a lot of uh, programs out there, a lot of coaching courses out there. Uh, Ryan Pineda has got a really uh, profitable, awesome uh one out there that I looked into as well. Uh, but there's, there's a ton of coaching courses you can do. And the one that really aligned with my uh, goals and what I was looking to accomplish in the interim was short-term rental. So that's the one I went with. And uh, there was a lot of overlap in my uh, education. Uh, so I, I, I knew a lot of the fundamental steps about short-term rentals before I started the program. So there was a quick, uh, quick turnaround. You know, I learned a lot, but uh, I had a foundation to go on. So it was really easy to pick up. And uh, Michael and his team had a very comprehensive program that spelled out every step of the way. Highly recommend uh, his program if you're interested in looking into the short-term rental space. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm still, still navigating it. And uh, we started with arbitrage. So, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can go about doing Airbnb, but we started with arbitrage. Uh, so that's a good low cost way to get into it. Um, also, you know, we're already looking at uh, scaling and doing our next steps um, with the business and just so fired up about it. And really the top takeaway I would say is that just like getting started on something really catapulted our uh, real estate journey and uh, definitely would recommend uh, if you're looking at starting something, just jump in because the sooner you get started, the sooner you can uh, start having success. So um, I would say that uh, over the summer, there was a lot of uh, interest rate hikes and a lot of crazy stuff going on in the mortgage space. And so a lot of people have been deterred from buying. And I think that that's very valid. And I think that there's a lot of points uh, to be made about that. Uh, I personally uh, am optimistic about mortgages and optimistic about real estate. And I think that it's still a great asset to be in, even with the interest rate hikes and even with the uncertainty in the market. Purchase prices have um, stayed relatively the same uh, from what I've seen. A little bit of a, a, little bit of a buyer advantage. Uh, a little bit of a seller concession type of environment, but depends on the market you're in. And uh, I'm looking at this as a uh, long-term investment. So um, really, I think it's good to be in any type of real estate asset class, as long as you are educated on it and uh, can execute it according to your plan. So uh, with the short-term rental game, I think it's a really fun space to be in. If you're a creative type, you can really have a lot of fun with it. If you're doing the long-term rental game or you're doing the uh, commercial space, like there's a lot of opportunity there. I think uh, personally, again, I really like short-term rental. So something we're exploring actively. So for our first short-term rental, uh, we did a condo apartment uh, in downtown Nashville, in the heart of Nashville, three, three blocks from Broadway. Um, we themed it rock and roll. So uh, Rock and Rowdy, b, &B. Uh, If you look that up on Airbnb, you'll see our listing there. Um, definitely something I vision. Yeah, I had a vision about it and we executed, I think, pretty 
pretty good on it. Um, you know, there was a lot of planning and a lot of steps that were involved uh, that I learned over the summer with the coaching course, but a lot of it was, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, a lot of laboring, love of labor tasks involved with this project. And I think that if you, um, if you enjoy that type of DIY project, it's, uh, something, something that we, we had a lot of fun with. So, um, the Nashville market is hot and it's booming and a lot of activity there on Broadway. So, uh, we're catering to, you know, small families, small bachelor, bachelorette parties, you know, you're not allowed to have parties on Airbnb, but, uh, gatherings, however you want to call it, people will book the listing, uh, for their excursions, uh, downtown. So great spot to be in. Uh, we're, we're definitely excited and keep you, um, updated on our success and challenges and, uh, on to the next thing already. So on to the next one, uh, as I say in every episode, bippity boppity investment property, let's go.